Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're going to shop with the rich. <laughs> to compare the prices of groceries at quick Mart and those at our local market and yeah so here are the prices i think they sell most of them by kgs and some by piece depending i guess so i didn't love the bananas some people would say they are organic because they have the black spots but i don't like them so tomatoes they are selling at 135 per kg i don't know how many will fit in a kg but i feel like it's around six so i think the price is almost 18 shillings either six to eight tomatoes per kg the onions they were selling at 115 per kg and according to that size somebody said around four would be a kg so 115 divided by four i don't know this math is a lot and then the garlic was 400 per kg damn imported garlic people are really expensive anyway the carrots were at 80 bob per kg and tamarind i love the juice of this thing whoa 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 okay okay me quite the place was too noisy but i managed what i managed so the cabbage there they were selling i think at 35 bob and they were kind of small but okay worth it the vegetables looked fresh fresh and uh, they were selling each batch at um 30 bob like all the vegetables in general from kale spinach kenyaji all of them even if they didn't have most of them they were selling at 30 bob it was kind of fair i think but at my local market, I think we'll get them at a cheaper price. We'll see. This is basically going for 250. So it's 50 bob per orange. <laughs> so and this is 275 for six apples. 75 divided by six. 20 what? Where by six? 40. Almost 46 per well, I'm not sure. Okay, packaging, then we have the fruits over there. A lime is 165 per kg, 150 cucumbers. Red ho ho, yellow ho ho is 290 per kg. I think they fit like four in a kg. Now I need to go and check for care. What the hell is this? Carella. Ka the hell is this? They look like chameleons. Chameleons. Oh shoot. So like their career My god, I wanna be rich. I wanna be fair. Okay, not famous. Mostly rich. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Kiwi ninety nine. <laughs> is this like a fruit or a vegetable and those who eat it do you like cook it peel it cut it it is i wish i could buy it but it looks so raw anyway we go wait one more thing uh minji 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 yeah so they were over here at four nine package four nine I honestly, I'm only seeing okra right now as I edit this video and it's 150 per kg. So now I'm just walking around the supermarket, like, quick much. In the vegetable section, there is this guy. I think the attendant on that side, like, was wondering what I'm doing. So he kind of, like, started just following me around, like, everything when I'm saying the prices or when I'm recording, he's just there. And it freaked me out, so I ran. And now I think it's time to go to the soko soko, buy what I actually needed. I think I just need to look at Christmas decoration. Whoa, just I'm sure it's over here. Sasa? Mm, type of topic, Christmas decorations. Christmas decorations. 
so I have gotten to the Christmas decoration bit of the super, but I still can't figure out where I might just or I think the only things that are there to decorate are those things they are holding over there, and that's not what I'm looking for. I feel like I need actual Christmas themed things. Let me check around. <laughs> so I was too embarrassed to dress. <laughs> Walk out of there. I was too embarrassed to walk out of there without anything, so I bought this Delamere yogurt. It's only it's supposed to be 65 bob. I think I might 70 now. I think 70 bob. So, but at least I got something for you guys. I got something for you guys. I got you the prices of the groceries there, and now we're going to compare them with the ones at the soccer at the market. And today I'm looking like a real mama eh? with all the candles. Yeah, so I'll see when I get to the market and we shall compare. Unapatiwa dawa ya minyo bure. Ukinunua hii dawa ya amiba, unapatiwa dawa ya minyo bure. Karibu sana customer, upate dawa yako ya mtoto na yako wewe mtu mzima. Mia, 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 Ready, Sakarati? I think we're in a cafe. Ready, Manaki? On a cafe. Oh, I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. I'm Three gunyo de ney. No, get the dog yak and get a many idiot in a keruta. And when I come, for her, I get a genuine. I swear this thing was following me, <laughs> but at least I knew I was still this for making dresses. Then I went on to like do garlic, ginger shopping look at those prices like 10 bob 10 bob 20 15 that's the highest so good and then bam okra again and i hadn't seen okra at quick mart i have seen them in this video so when i bought these ones i didn't know about the ones in quick mart i just wanted to try a new recipe so it was okra and they were selling at six for ten six pieces for ten shillings which i don't know whether it's fair cheap or expensive i'm not sure but at quick mart it was 150 packaging so I feel like it's almost, I don't know. Hi. Tatum Bout at 25. Moza Kumi. La Kilo. Kilo Moza Gapi. Eh. Kain Kuboa. See you already in Kilo Moza. Tatu Kaid. Kain Kuboa Vizuri. Is it twenty five? Normally, I like mixing the ripe ones and the green ones so that they stay longer. Yeah. So, and then I found the red and the yellow capsicums. The red ones, there was a size of 50 and 70, which I feel is much fair. I needed mint for making my punches and juices. It's become a favorite. It was 20 bob per bunch. 
and then yeah and then plus other things other veggies there parsley 20 bob the red cabbage i think the red cabbage she sold it at 100 bob the broccoli she was also selling at 100 bob which i found quite expensive oh and the lettuce also at 100 bob so i'm feeling like things are getting much expensive because either of the rain or because of the christmas season but hey yeah that was that for the soccer <laughs> wow 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 i swear to god i had done all the math possible about being a youtuber <laughs> how to handle all the fears how to handle all the you know when you know to me jipanga kabisa kabisa like uh what work he hate sit and earlier the head and to focus on the positive <laughs> if people don't watch if they don't get enough views they'll just be assuming the video wasn't good yani nilikuwa nimefanya hesabu zote zote like eh backlash nta handle aje there's just one thing yenye sikwa nime keep into consideration and it it almost it almost gave me an anxiety attack today like <laughs> so after the whole shopping thing and then my son insisted on our local shopping center and then i was like ah why not let's go a party haircut and everything so me go and then the place i did my nails yesterday um sorry to say okay i had a mission there <laughs> I had something I was going to do there right before I took now my son. Like they're adjusting to each other. Like where I did my nails is here. And then our barber shop is here. Like where we take the boys to go and get their haircut is like right next. So me go and my son is just getting the haircut and I'm there. And then I notice like the chick who usually wash their faces and everything is just looking at me kind of weird. I, okay, normally I have never even noticed that she's looking at me. But today I felt like this guy weird car, you know, Castilla. And then when the guy who is doing my son's hair is almost done, he says, oh, kumbe unakuanga YouTube. Uh, I was like, I was like, oh my God. Uh, what, 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 what do you mean? Eh, uh, kumbe unakuanga celebrity. <laughs> almost fainted i was like wait a minute so locals actually do watch my youtube and then i figured i figured maybe one way one way or another they had to get away to get my content eventually but i didn't expect it to be this soon and i didn't expect it to come from like the one place that i have to visit every other month i swear to god i was so nervous and then he's just Telling me, yeah, I thought I could handle a lot of things in life. But I think that is the one thing I hadn't considered. Like if my local people became fans and I had to handle them, I hadn't considered. I hadn't considered like I can be going to my local shop and the shopkeeper is telling me, ah, niliona video yako ya jana. I might go to my local like Kibanda for Skuma and oh my god, I, I now understand why YouTubers live in suburbs. <laughs> I understand why they do their shopping in Quick Mart and oh my god. I swear I did oh my god. But but on the upper side, that's an extra view. That's an extra subscriber. So a shout out to all my local people. Hey. Shout out to all the locals who watch like people from my home area i love you guys and thanks a lot for promoting your girl and i hope i can provide content that you can relate because near to nice please to go to family though <laughs> anyway thanks for watching it's been a good day and if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe if you meet me on the road say hi and i'm not a celebrity i'm not a celebrity i'm still your local girl and yeah bye bye see you tomorrow for another vlog so today we just end it here i thought i will do something for dinner but that's gonna make it too long so i'll see you tomorrow hey, i'm so i'm so petrified though
I didn't I don't know how to handle the pressure of being in the local setup with her fans and everything. But hoping here's where the grace comes in. Bye bye. <clears throat>